Hello my lovelies, I'm back. Um, I've decided this year <clears throat> that I'm going to try and remember to um, say the date at the start of these so I can do less paperwork because I print out the recipe and put the date on it and the name of the soap on it for every single soap that I make and it's just, I have folders that are like, it's insane. And it's just, it's a waste of paper. So what I've done is because I'm streamlining my recipe, I think I'm probably only going to just use one recipe from now on, unless, you know, unless I need something special. Um, what I've done is I've kept the recipe in OneNote, and I now just have a list of the soaps that I make with that recipe. So I thought because I video every single, re every single soap, um, if I need to know anything about it, I can just look back on the video instead of having a pile of papers. So yeah, so today is the 5th of January, which is what all that was about. Um, I'm going to make a Malfi, um, a Malfi, yeah, a Malfi Coast, which is a man scent. It's, it's nice. It's like all the other man scents. It's, it's aftershavey. So, <laughs> um, I'm going to try and make it look like a beach. So you probably should wish me luck now because I have no idea if it's going to work or not. Um, I'm just going to check my um, computer here because... No, I don't know what I just did. Oh, I've made a new shortcut. I didn't mean to do that. Um, it's been very jittery at times. And so I've been trying to make sure that I turn off every background service <coughs> before... I video but I didn't today because I'm just all over the place because I have a broken toe and now my brain doesn't work <laughs> well my brain doesn't work at the best of times but um yeah anyway so as so I thought if I turn off all the services that are running that don't need to be running then maybe we'll have a bit better luck all right so yes this is my new recipe it has Palm, tallow, olive, rice bran, coconut, which is like this much, um, castor and shea. So it's a it's a more of a luxurious mix and goat's milk, of course. Um, I'm really liking the creamy soap rather than the bubbly soap, but I know people like bubbles, so that's why I've got castor in there because it ups the bubble. Um, oh, shea's yummy. And tallow is like, phew. tallow honestly is one of the best things to put in soap. And so palm and you know, I don't care, I get sustainable segregated stuff. And if people don't like that, then they don't have to buy my soap. You know, I, I'm trying to make a good product. I'm, you know, and I'm trying to do it as responsibly as possible. So, but anyway, all right, so let's go. What we got, everything's in here, ready to go. Um, I've got Catalina Blue, I've got Chambray, which is another paler blue, um, and I've got Grandeur, which is gold. I've got a whole container of this, but I had a little tester as well. So that's going to be sand. I've got actual sand from Yamba Beach to put in it. Um, what I'm... <laughs> fingers crossed. I want to put a layer of <clears throat> the sand in the bottom. And then I'm going to do an in-the-pot swirl of the of the different blues, and hopefully that'll look like the water, and do that on top, and hopefully it'll look like a Malfi coast. <laughs> Let's go, eh? Ooh. Oh, that bloody magpie in that tree again. I have a magpie that's stalking me, I'm sure. All right, so this um, this lye is a one-to-one -one ratio. It has um, tuss of silk in it, which I don't know <coughs> uh, if you can see. It's kind of a little bit orangey. I'll get another one and show you that doesn't have it in it. You might be able to see the difference on camera. I'm not entirely sure. Let me get this out of the way does change the color slightly and can you see that the difference where's the thing there it is. Can you see the difference in those 
and get out of the light. So this one's got kind of like an orange tinge to it, whereas this is just perfectly clear. This has no tuss of silk in it. Um, I just wanted to experiment when I made them up when I was master batching and it was still hot. So this was <coughs> tuss of silk cut up and put in the water before I put the lye in, so before it got hot. And what I thought was, well, if it dissolves well enough when it's hot, wonder if it dissolves when it's cold. So this one is my little tester, which it's not doing quite as well as I'd hoped, but I've just added the tuss of silk in today. Um, and this has been cold for what two days now so so yeah so I'm just I cut it up real fine like I always do <coughs> mixed it up with a spoon and now I'm just giving it a twirl every now and then and we'll see how it goes but if that works then I'm not just not gonna fart ass around with it anymore and um, just add it when it's cold so all right so but yes tuss of silk works tuss of silk works uh, in one-to-one -one ratio bamboo silk does not so if you are doing a one-to-one -one ratio and you want to use silks do not use bamboo silk because it fluffs up and is yucky <laughs> so and I'm just going to wash my hands just in case I've got any of that um, lye on them because yes because idiot that I am has no gloves on but look I'm in so much pain from so many different things at this point in time that I'm just not in the mood for gloves it's just, it's just one more thing that I just can't take. <laughs> oh, I tell you what. I pushed myself to extremes over Christmas, and I'm paying for it now. Plus a burnt toe, so. Which I kicked on a box of wax. I mean, seriously, I have like five boxes of wax in this house. So I was bound to kick one of them. Um, <clears throat> but it's the fourth toe I've broken in the last month. And it is by far the worst. Today is the first day I've been able to stand. I couldn't drive yesterday. I had to get a friend drive me around. Um, which was terrible. I mean, spending time with her is not terrible, but getting someone to drive me around is terrible. All right, so <clears throat> I don't know. I'm just going to throw it in, see what happens. I don't, even, I don't know if it discolours. I don't know anything. I didn't look it up because... I just all of a sudden decided I was going to soak. <laughs> i do this. It's very masculine. Very, very masculine. There's no way this is a pretty ladies soap. You know, in saying that, I mean, I like the masculine soaps. Masculine. Apparently I can't talk. So, um... You know, I'm not saying that women don't use masculine soaps. I'm just saying it has those aftershave tones. <clears throat> oh, sorry about my voice. Oh, what's going on? I get this sometimes. It's annoying. I don't know. Who knows? It's thickening, that's for sure. And heating up like a... Wow! Holy crap. Okay. We may not be doing a um, in-the-pot swirl yet. <clears throat> oh for god's sake okay so I'm not going to put a lot of sand in this but I just wanted to put some in just I just think it will just it'll give it a little bit of exfoliation and it makes it kind of extra pressure because then it's from Yamba like literally from the beach of Yamba and sand it looks really nice in so it gives it a lovely texture so I'm way over there, aren't I? I'm sorry, guys. So yeah, that's it. That's all I wanted to do. Just have that in the bottom. That's a nice sandy colour. Now I'm not going to fart ass around with that. Well, Jesus. Okay. And I was going to put some of this in here. Oh, no, I wasn't. I was going to put some of that in these. Well, shit. Yeah, I don't know now what to do. I had no backup plan. No backup plan whatsoever. And that is so hot. I cannot believe how hot that is. That's just... Ridiculous hot. 
got a feeling this one will crack. I may put this one in the fridge, I think. I'm going to have to give this a little squirt. This is what I get for not checking the files first. Great. That was smart, wasn't it? Really smart. Okay. Don't do that. That's really dumb. And I can feel there's a piece of soap on my neck because it's burning. So be a little bit more careful than me. I'm just having a panic moment. So don't do that. It's dumb. I'm usually way more organized. Well, <laughs> you guys have watched my videos, so I probably shouldn't lie. Sometimes I'm more organized than this. I put the white in before I put it in here because I want this to be a lighter blue than the other one. And the other one's a really nice dark blue, so I thought if I had a bit of white in this, this would be, would be a nice pastel then. Because I want them I want them different. I don't want them like stupidly different. All right, so I don't know how this is going to work as a in the pot swirl, but we'll find out in a minute. All right. Well, you know, it'll look somewhat beachy, I imagine. <laughs> and if it doesn't, it doesn't. It smells really good. So, you know, it smells like men's aftershave. Oh, there's a spoon there. It's just. I'll mix this more than I normally do, only because it's so thick. And I'm going to pour this. Oh, there's another bit of soap there. I'm going to pour this, even though that's. Wow! That's really solid. I'll pour it over, I'll finish the sentence, I'll pour it over this just to begin with so it doesn't break through if I can help it but then I might just, it looks kind of good actually and it's getting lighter as it's getting to the top which is also really awesome because that might look like the water is um deeper on the bottom so we might have just just be on a bloody winner here without even trying <laughs> wouldn't that be nice I was going to texture this top so that's good that it's as set up as this because I wanted to make it look like waves oh. yep that's a burning way so what I'll do is I'll leave that sit there for a moment. Oh, I have to keep... See, when I stand perfectly still, don't put any pressure on my foot, forget that I have a broken toe because it's got to the point now where it's not sore all the time. But as soon as I move and put any kind of pressure on it, it's straight away. It's like, oh yeah, you have a broken toe. So I was fine this morning, while ever I was sitting down, I was like, oh, I'm not in any pain, so I can go and do stuff. And <laughs> I tried to do stuff, I was like, you can't do stuff. So, I haven't even attempted to go and try the clutch this morning. That was a freaking disaster yesterday. Oh, I've got to take that to the doctors in the morning, so I don't have a choice. I have to drive the car tomorrow. And because he won't let me drive his, because apparently, I'm a girl and I'm useless or something. I'm not entirely sure why I can't drive his car, but I don't know. But you know, Jeffrey's allowed to drive it, but I'm not. <laughs> well, it's an automatic. It might be too hard for me to drive. I don't know. Oh, here's me bitching, bitching, bitching. Sorry, guys. I won't bitch anymore. <laughs> so I'm so full of shit. Of course, I'm going to bitch. It's what I do. Alright, so where's the pointy bit? There's the pointy bit. So yeah, so this smells nice. Um, I 
think it might not be as, quite as much of a disaster as I was beginning to think there, so we might have lucked out. I have a whole bunch of different um, <coughs> designs I want to do of soaps. I've got them all drawn up. It's just a matter of um, matching scents, but I've just ordered <coughs> a bit of around about 300 bucks worth of testers. Yep, really. And they're like, I think the dearest one was like four dollars. So there's a lot of testers coming. Oh no, seriously though, I did buy some bigger bottles of stuff I needed, but <coughs> there's a. <laughs> did you guys see that? I should slow mo that. Want to edit the video because that was so ridiculously stupid. There is now a big chunk of blue. It kind of matches my mat, so because it has blue spots on it. You see, mat has blue spots on it. Well, that blue spot's kind of the same. Just no blue spot on the nail. It's a very clean spot. All right, so I'll give those a minute now. Or I might wipe my hands <sighs> messy 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 so there's definitely a difference in those two two blues I quite like that yeah I think that's going to be um the sand's going to be really nice because it's like you can feel that it's gritty but it's not, um, it's very soft, like, I don't think it would be um, as exfoliating as, say, like poppy seeds. So, I don't know, does anyone else, use, has anyone else used sand in soap? If so, please comment, message me, whatever, because I'm, I'm keen to know. So, so do I just do my normal spoony top? I'm not sure what else to do, how, how, I don't know how to make it look like waves. So, oh, it's thick, but I'm sort of angling these a little bit differently. No, how about, how about something like that? And then if I go, does it even remotely look like waves? It really doesn't, does it? Um, I don't know how to make it look like waves. But I'll do it deeper though so so it's got a really textury top so it's got more movement there we go look at that how good's that it's got some movement now yeah I know I'm messing with it <laughs> I liked it and then I screwed it up. Yes, I nearly said that word. There you go. <clears throat> that looks watery, doesn't it? Not too bad. Looks like a mess, but I think once it's cut, it, because it's got so much movement to it, it should be all right. All right, where's that spoon? Blue spoon. I'll make these a little, let's see. It's just funny, because this is not even remotely as set up as that. Isn't that weird? That the two blues are not as set up. I wonder why. Oh, probably because that's got more <coughs> titanium in it. And titanium tends to set things off, so. But there you go, that's my Amalfi Coast kids. I um I might actually put a bit of glitter on that. I haven't put any glitter on anything for ages. Um <coughs> I'll use this rainbow dream one because it's, oh, ouch, yep, I've broken toe, that's right. It's got a bit of green and blue in it, so, yeah, definitely, that's really nice, because that's got like a green tone to it anyway, so, lots and lots of glitters. I get people comment a lot <coughs> on the glitter tops and the like the gold mica tops they seem to love those so I probably need to do those more often which really I don't mind glitter and gold mica tops who doesn't want to do more of those all right kids I've been babbling on now for 20 minutes I'll shut up and see you for the cutting bye 
Hello, it's, um, I'm a bit excited about this one. <laughs> look, look, it looks like ocean and sand. I'm very excited. Uh, and it's set like a trooper. So, I'm very happy so far. <laughs> Haven't seen inside it, but. Oh my god, yeah, that's perfect! Look at it! It's perfect! Oh, I could not have asked for a better soap. Seriously, that is so good. It um has discoloured, but that's okay. I don't really care. But seriously, that looks so good. I'm so happy. And I love how, see, it's done exactly what I thought it was going to do. It's gone from darker to lighter. And I didn't even do that on purpose. I'm so happy. And the sand looks great. I don't know. You, I don't know if you can see, but it has got it's got texture. Not a lot, but it's enough that it actually looks like sand. So well, of course it would, because it's got actual sand in it. But um, geez, it was hot. So. You can see, there you go, That's a, that one's a prime example. You can see the cut discoloration up here. Oh. Well, I might have to cut that bit out because it just stopped and had a fit. But yeah, it's discolored here and then down on the bottom. Can you see that? I don't know. But yeah, so it was very, very, very hot, this one. I would assume that's from the fragrance because I've been using the exact same recipe for every single soap I have made in the last 24 hours. The only difference is the um, fragrances. So, and that and the lemon and lavender are the, are the, are the own. Oh God, I can't talk. Are the only two that have heated up like that. So. But I'll just know for next time, won't I? Oh, I'm so happy with this part. I don't get this excited about soaps a lot. Or do I? I don't know. I probably do and just don't remember. But oh, I'm so happy with it. Just the way that it's gone from that dark up to the light is just... I mean, I could have done a better job if I actually tried. So... And it doesn't mean, apart from the goat's milk smell it's got... Um, it's not strong, like I think if you were going to keep it as a proper line, you might want to soap it at about 4% maybe, because that's, it's there, but it's subtle, very subtle, and I've used, what, 2.8%, so, so yeah. Alright, so that's it guys, I'll see you on the next go round, bye.